Pressure, meanwhile, or hypertension, is the leading cause of heart disease and heart-related deaths in the U.S. and worldwide. In the sponsored story, researchers at Intermountain Medical Center say extreme ups and downs in blood pressure may be just as deadly as having consistently high blood pressure. 117 over 70, not bad. Not bad at all for 60-year-old Marty Martin. Considering Dr. Brian Clements at Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute giving Marty his prognosis several years ago. And he said you have to change the way you live or you're going to die. It's your choice. Marty had a long ways to go to turn his heart health around. I drank, I smoked, I ate nothing but fatty foods. He became diabetic, had lung issues, and those bad habits also caused extreme swings in blood pressure from high to low. That a lot of people um, from each visit in an outpatient setting, their blood pressure may be really high at one time or really low another time. And not just high blood pressure, but that variation has been found to be a predictor of a bad outcome, either death or a heart attack or stroke or something like that. Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute conducted a study and reviewed the health system's database of nearly 11,000 patients over five years and discovered patients with systolic blood pressure that varied by as much as 30 or 40 between doctor visits were more likely to die than those with more consistent blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure is the top reading, which indicates how much pressure blood is exerting against the artery walls when the heart beats. According to the American Heart Association, a normal reading is less than 120. And new guidelines lowered the threshold of high blood pressure from 140 to 130 over 80. Dr. Clement says there are several ways you can take back control of your health for a more consistent blood pressure. They take their blood pressure medications, it, that does seem to uh, decrease their variability from visit to visit. Then also, then their lifestyle changes are hugely important too if they keep restricting their salt, if they do regular exercise. Marty started on a path to healthy living. Quit smoking, I quit drinking. I quit going to fast food restaurant. He also cut back on salt, lost 40 pounds, and his blood pressure is now consistent. I feel very fortunate. And grateful for Dr. Clements and the staff at Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. The way they take care of you. I have a new life. I have a new life here in Utah. Good job, Marty. Intermountain Medical Center says the study was the largest hypertension clinical trial ever conducted. The study was reported to the American Heart Association. And to learn more about how to take an accurate blood pressure reading, go to our website at goodforutah.com.